and welcome to week four. I'm so excited that you joined us today. Today we are going to be learning that God creates helpers. Genesis 2, 10 through 23. Also, if you want to be included on our attendance charts, I would encourage you to send me an email so we can keep up with that. So when we come back in person, we will know that you have been watching us. Um, and we can keep up with all of that. So now we are going to worship, so I encourage you to stand up, sing, and praise God. This train is bound for glory, this train, this train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory Jesus made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train this train this train as we have been working over the past few weeks on our wonder map we added the night and the day the birds in the sky the animals on the land and the fish and the sea creatures on the bottom and then last week we added plants so today we are going to add the human figures to it yay we've now completed our wonder map for unit one how exciting is that all of the creative things that god has made now, I would go like you to grab your Bible. It can be one of the deep blue Bibles. As you can see, mine is different today. Or it can be your kid's Bible. But we want you to go find Genesis 2, verses 10 through 23. And I would like you to read them together. Now it's time for this week's video. Greetings friends, it's Carly. What a beautiful and amazing earth we get to live on. God's creativity imagined something so wonderful and now we get to look around and see it each and every day. Do you want to hear something really cool? When God created human beings, God didn't just bring them here to sit around. They had an important role to play in creation. God had created so many animals that were living around the earth. But even though they had a home, they didn't have a name. It would be so hard to talk about animals if we didn't know what to call them. God brought the animals to Adam and invited him to name them. Adam got to show creativity and name the animals that were around. The bear, the cheetah, the shark, and the lizard. Wow! God also did something that was really awesome. God saw that everything God had created had a partner. The sun and the moon, the land and the sea, and the animals each had a partner too. God didn't want there to be just one human because that would be too lonely. So God created another human so they could be in a community. They were friends and they needed each other. Now everything that God had created had a partner and all creation could live and grow together. The story of creation is really exciting to me. 
It reminds me that God creates beautiful and good things. It makes me want to go and look around and see if I see new things. I want to read about new animals and think about how cool it is that the earth is full of such difference and beauty. God made sure the community of creation had all it needed to continue to create. Guess what? That means you and me. We get to create with God. We get to use our imaginations and wonder about all the possibilities of what we can make and what we can do. God celebrates our creativity and has asked humans to use our imagination since the very beginning. So what do you want to create? What do you imagine or see that would be beautiful or helpful in our world today? We all get to play a part and remember, we get to create with God. That's really awesome. Now, you get to wonder. God blew life into the human, and the human came to life. God asked the human to farm in the Garden of Eden. He helped God care for the plants and the animals, but the human was lonely. God said, it is not good for the human to be alone. I will make him a partner. They will help each other take care of the garden. God made the animals and the birds, but none of the animals were the right partner for the human. So God put the human asleep and made a woman. And the man said, this one is the perfect partner. Together, we will help take care of the garden. Can you name 
name all of the animals in our picture for today. Let's roll our wonder cube to see what question we will answer today. Ooh. I wonder if you could be any character in the Bible story, what character would you be and why? Continuing today with our faith word, creativity. Creativity is the process of imagining and making something like God imagined and created the world. What are ways that you see people being created in our world? Look, it's gloves. In today's Bible story, God invites each of us to be God's helpers. God wants humans to take care of creation. So that is why we have garden gloves, so that we can take care of God's creation. Here are your wonder questions for today. What are ways that you can help God take care of the earth? some things in the world that need our attention and care. What are ways that you see people helping and making a difference? Pause your screen, or at the end of the session, we would love for you to do your craft. Here are the instructions to follow. We can create a beautiful world and work with God to help make our world a better place. Today we learned about helping God. We got to see that together we can be creative with God. Imagine the glove hand is God and imagine my other hand as you. We're going to clasp them together today as we say our prayer. Dear God, thank you for teaching me how to be a helper. May I always help you and others. Creating God, thank you for inviting us to work with you and make the world a better place. Amen. We also want you to remember to do your Celebrate Wonder activity book for week four. 
Um, as you can see, there's all the weeks in here for the fall. As God creates helpers this week, your spiritual practice, it will go over your word creativity. If you do not have one of these, please reach out to me so that your family can be doing the spiritual practices and the activities. I hope you all have a great week. Peace out. There is power!